here. We now have some of the trusses, uh, which is very exciting. All that's happening today is we are framing like the interior walls. All of the exterior walls are done. I just got here a little bit ago and Joe had put together this wall. So we just stood it up and now he's putting in concrete nails. So we're gonna have lunch and then continue to frame. The second load of trusses is here. You ever seen this before? Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. There they are. What just happened? You shot me with that nail. <laughs> It was bad. Let me see. You can see the hole. Oh my goodness. I'm just thankful it didn't actually like hit you. That could have been really bad. like that you scoot it over then it's, then it's not gonna line up with this door down here you really can't scoot that door over anymore yeah we'd only be able to scoot it over a few inches anyway right yeah. so it's probably good right there okay. here we go oh, about as wide as that oh it's wide as this almost yeah and then it's this long for a shower Shower. Why is it a huge shower? Why does it a huge shower? I don't know. Maybe we should make it a little sticky. The whole reason why we're discussing how big we want our shower is so that we can decide where we want the doors. Um, because the bathroom door, like for the master bathroom, is going to be over here, which leads into our master bedroom. And then it also is going to connect here into the nursery. We're just trying to figure out like where we want them placed. If we want to scoot them this way or that way or what. Because it'd be kind of nice to have them centered with each other. The shower right now is 7 feet by 48 inches, which is 4 feet. So 4 by 7, which is a really big shower. So we're thinking about maybe shrinking it this way a little bit. So, I don't know. We'll see. like 4 
it's almost 4 30 i think and i have to go pick up our son at five so i really won't be out here all too much longer but hopefully we can get this wall framed i don't know how late joe's planning to be out here probably not a whole lot longer after five because it gets dark so building in the winter is something else you don't have much daylight and then you get snow which puts you behind and then it's like muddy when it does get warm so I think the battery is starting to die so it's not as powerful These are jacks, which are the shorter ones, and then those are headers, which are those ones. And then you call these studs that are next to the jacks, king. So king, jack, and then the headers. The last wall for the evening, I do believe. Well, at least the last one I'm gonna put up, so. 